Hi, my name is Amanda and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm so excited for today's video because it's going to be all about a new app that Apple recently launched. The app is called Clips and if you haven't heard about it, it is an easy, user-friendly video and photo editing software available on your phone. The editing software allows you to clip together different video pieces on your camera or even capture them right within the app. You could also add really fun elements to your videos and images such as filters, titles, emojis, and even music. Once you're done editing your video or image, you are able to upload it directly to social media or just download it onto your camera roll. In light of the recent launch, I thought it'd be really fun to do a quick little tutorial on how to use clips. Okay, so you guys should be able to see my phone here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app. And as you can see, we have our library video. There's my laptop. But we're gonna actually click on library because we actually have some clips that I've already taken. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first clip and bring it in. And we're just gonna click on the red button that says hold this clip to add. So basically it's gonna play the clip and you hold it just as long as you want the video clip to be. We got our clip in our timeline. So at the very, very bottom you see next to the play button, that's kind of like our timeline area where all of our clips and different elements are gonna be. So next let's add a little title. You see that we have a whole big selection here of pre-made kind of slide titles. So let's grab the good morning one since we are having an alarm go off. And we're gonna do the same thing, click that big red button that says hold to record and just press it down for as long as we want it to be in our video. All right, so let's add another clip. Here's a cute little clip of my pup sleeping. So let's add that one into our timeline as well. At the very top of the screen, we're gonna click on the one with the star in it and that's just gonna bring us to a little menu full of fun little thoughts and let's add a little thought bubble. And let's write something fun like, "Don't I don't wanna wake up. There we go. And you can also move it around, make it bigger, larger, tilt it, kind of play with it a little bit to get it to look exactly how you like. So we can see that we have two of them. So I'm just gonna grab one of them and move it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and add another speech bubble to make it kind of funny. And this time I'm just gonna write, fine, I'll wake up. So now I'm just gonna actually shorten up the clips a little bit. They're kind of long, they're kind of lengthy, not necessary. So we're gonna click on the little scissor tool, which is going to essentially allow us to decide the length again for the clip. And then we're just gonna drag it over and click apply. We're gonna add a couple more clips just to finish off the video. So let's add this one here. It looks cute, going outside. I'm gonna add another title shot and I'm gonna click this one here, it looks funky. It says, let's go, let's go outside, fitting. And then let's add our final clip. And for this clip, let's add a filter. So there's lots of different filters. Ooh, this one's cute. And this one's ink, that one's kind of freaky. Let's go with instant. This one kind of just adds a little bit of a filter to it. At the very top of the screen, we're gonna add one more element and it's music. So at the very top, there is a little music symbol. Let's click on that and then you can either go to your own library or their library. So let's go to their library and check out what they've got. Let's scroll through. They've got all the different genres. Let's go to playful. Play back to normal. Sounds pretty good. Fun, lighthearted. I like it. So if you just click on the little cloud with the arrow pointing downwards, that's gonna download it and then you'll be able to insert it right into your video. So here we have the option to see it and play it back alongside the other clips, but we also can see that the music goes down whenever there is other noise in the other clips. So for example, when the alarm clock's ringing, the music goes down so you can hear the alarm, alarm clock better, which I really like. Once we've added background music, we're really ready to export our video, so it's really simple. If we click on the share option, we're able to see all the different social media applications such as Dropbox, Facebook. So here, let's share it to Facebook. It comes right up into the application. Let's discard that. And we can also just save the video directly to our camera. So as you can see, this is a really neat, easy to use app. There is so much more that we can explore within it. I hope you enjoyed this short, quick, fun tutorial using Apple's new editing software called Clips. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section or visit us at thornleyfallis.com. 